started meeting me in the field, like we started at Nellison Park down there, and then we've been bringing on Bremont. I met Miss Parker uh, last year, J-Dog came out, and she was cool. And I told Miss Parker, I was like, uh, I want you to say something on the mic. And uh, we prayed for the hood and everything. J-Dog came, and it was a real nice time. And uh, we've been doing events together, Parents Against If y'all ain't been to the J-Dog, you need to pay a visit. Because it's serious. Missing kids. Kids is falling, just coming up missing like it ain't nothing. So this we doing is real. We not out here just because, trying to give y'all some free food and drink. You know, I'm going to pass it on to Mr. Parker, though. How y'all doing? Mr. Park, y'all only got a lot of different benefits, but what I got is please watch your kid. Cause it's sad what's happening to him. Please, I ain't gonna keep y'all too long. I wanna give much love to my wife. We're putting all this together. Much love to Bliss. We love you, man. And one more thing. It's hot out here, man. The devil is hot. Please drink water. Cause we don't want nobody falling out. I don't know about Bliss. Parents and brothers, no way I know it's true. So please, drink water. I need all my boss man movement up here. I got one out here eating. Why lie? Change over. And it's dark, and them little girls be walking to school just, you know, and, and you don't know who could pull up. And that's the next kid on somebody's milk cart. And, uh, you know, so I'm just saying, man, y'all y'all don't really realize how important it is. Y'all live y'all life. These kids, they don't even know what's happening out there. It's, it's, it's monsters. It's real monsters. Some of them be in your family. And they have a sickness, and you don't even know it. Real quick, folks. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad he brought that up because, believe it or not, and I didn't know this until I got in the child abuse unit. We have a whole unit. We have 12 officers and two sergeants. The only thing they do is handle child sexual abuse that occurs with family members. With family members, that's all they handle. And believe it or not, each one of those 12 officers has a caseload of about 30 plus. And that's that's just right here in the city of Houston. That's sick, folks. That's real sick. When you got somebody that this kid is supposed to trust, a, a, a parent sometimes, uncles, cousins, people you bring into your house that are under your roof, and your and your child is being sexually abused by them. I didn't even think that would, that existed. I knew it existed, but not as much of it until I got to that unit and saw for myself and and read some confessions for myself that came from people so not saying you can't trust people but you have to watch your kids because kids are naturally trusting and, and like he mentioned about walking to school the best thing to do well I can't walk every every day maybe you can handle it on Mondays maybe another mother from the bunch can handle it on Tuesday and it's almost like you do a carpool you do a walk pool with one person it could be the older high school age kid that's going to Yates but he's going to be passing by the middle school or, or the elementary school Let they have to be with somebody who's responsible enough to get on that phone and while we're on cell phones real quick parents don't let your kids sleep with those cell phones it's okay that they have a phone but take it from them after a certain time after a certain time whatever y'all decide on 9, 10 o'clock keep it in your room give it to them the next morning he knows I'm from Louisiana, God's country, that's right. <laughs> but there is something else he didn't know. I owned a house on Bremont Street, right down the street, that I sold just a few years ago. I spent the first 15 summers of my life at 3601 Bremont Street, Houston, Texas, thank you. They didn't have no zip codes back then. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm dating myself, but I want to tell you that we have to all come back and talk about the things we need to talk about. You know me as Mama Pimp C. You see me at the shows. You see my hands in the air. And, yeah, I know every word to every song, and I'm not ashamed of it. But I was somebody before I became just Mama Pimp C. I taught school for 25 years. So I saw it all. 
went through it all, tried to help kids for a long, long time. I'm a grandmother now, so there's something very serious here that you need to think about. When Ms. Parker contacted me 99,000 times, <laughs> oh, she don't quit. And that's what it's going to take. Seriously, when I was listening at the officer talk, you've got to pay attention to your children. It's important to be involved in their sports activities. I'm involved in my grandson's sports activities. I'm involved in his music career. Oh, that's true. But you've got to pay attention to what else is going on. This is a very serious matter. It's not just about seeing a little kid get snatched around the corner. It could be yours in a flash. They're gone. And let me tell you something from a mother's perspective. Very, very, very seriously. No matter how old they are, if you lose them, your life will never be the same. So you don't want that to happen to you. I can tell you from personal experience, I don't want anybody out here to lose a child. Losing a child is the worst thing you'll ever experience in your entire life. So what you got to do is make sure it doesn't happen to you. You don't ever want to be able to stand on the stage and say, I know what that feels like. So most seriously, I want to bring to you my grandsons now. I call them both my grandsons. One is the biological little boy, and he never got a chance to know little Trey very well. But since I have adopted him as my grandson, I'm going to bring to you now U-G-K, Underground Kids, lowercase g. Hehehehe. <laughs>